Okay. All right. So my name is Monica and I'm with the Nebraska Game and Parks and my friend Amanda is also joining today. And she is also with Game and Parks, but she is on the other side of the state. She's in Western Nebraska, way, way, way out there. And I'm on the other side of the state. I'm on by Lincoln. <clears throat> All right. So we're going to go ahead and talk today about mammals. We're going to read a quick story and then we're going to talk about what mammals are and see if you guys know anything about mammals. All right, so our first book that we're going to be reading today is called About Mammals. Does anyone know what animal this is? I know you guys are on mute, but maybe you can talk with your families or your class. Maybe you know what animal this is. I see this animal a lot. My dogs love to chase them up trees in my backyard. So if you guys guessed raccoon, you are right. Good guess. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started. Hopefully everyone can see this. So mammals have hair. So if you guys could touch this raccoon, what do you think it would feel like? Would it be soft or bumpy or hard? I bet they would be really soft. <clears throat> they may have thick fur, sharp, quills. Does anyone know what this animal is? They're found out by where Amanda lives, way out in west. They like to live in trees. If you guys said porcupine, you're right. Do you guys think that they would be soft if you touch them? No, I see a lot of head shaking. No, they would not be soft. They would be really pokey, wouldn't they? Or even a few stiff whiskers. This guy probably wouldn't be very soft either. Baby animals drink milk from their mothers. Some mammals are born helpless. Others can move about on their own soon after they're born. And we have these animals in Nebraska. They also live out by where Amanda is. They kind of look like deer. Does anyone else know what they are? They're not quite deer. It starts with the letter E. Not elephant. I thought some people said elephant. Everyone heard of an elk? Elk? Yeah, so this is a mom and her baby. <clears throat> Mammals can run. This is our fastest mammal that we have in Nebraska. Amanda has all the cool animals out there. This is called a pronghorn. They are fast. Mammals can also climb. Do you guys see this mammal? My dogs like this mammal too. They like to chase them up trees. Mammals can also swim. Do we have these mammals in Nebraska? No, they live in the ocean. And mammals can even fly. Does anyone know what animal this is? Did you guys say bat? Did you say bat? Yeah, we have them in Nebraska. Mammals can eat meat. They can also eat plants. And some mammals can even eat both meat and plants. Some animals live in cold and icy places. Some animals live in hot and dry deserts. or wet marshes. We also have this animal in Nebraska. You guys ever heard of a muskrat? Kind of like a beaver, but they don't have the really flat tail. It is important to protect mammals and the places where they live. I see lots of mammals here. I see deer and I see a squirrel. And what is this mammal? What is that? 
That's a person. We are also mammals. All right. So that was our book. So I'm going to go ahead and unmute you guys. <clears throat> All right, so if you're still muted on your own, that's fine, but you have the ability to unmute yourself too. All right, so how many of you guys like that book? How many of you guys like to learn about mammals? Yeah, me too, me too. All right, so now we're gonna do a quick activity. I'm gonna show you guys some pictures of animals, and I want you to see if you can figure out if they're mammals or if they're not mammals. So when we looked at that book, how many of those animals had hair on them? A lot. Well, yeah. A lot of them. Yeah, all of them had hair on them because mammals will have hair. Do we have hair? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Show me where your hair is. Where's, Where's your, your hair? hair? Your hair. Mm -hmm. And you guys have hair on your hair. On my hair. We Where's have eyebrows. So yeah, we are mammals. How many of you guys drank milk when you were little? Or maybe you still like to drink milk? When you were a baby? Yeah. I like to drink milk. You were born? Yeah. We all drink milk. And mammals like to drink milk too. How many of you guys hatched out of an egg? Not me. Not me. No. We didn't hatch out of an egg, did we? We were born alive, like all other. All right, so I'm going to show you guys some pictures of animals, and let's see if you can guess whether they're a mammal or if they're not a mammal. All right. All right, let's see if this works. Is this the video? <coughs> <coughs> All right, so let's see if you guys can guess whether they're mammals or if they're not mammals. All right. Yeah, I can help you, but I think you're pretty good. I think All right. Mammal. But, see if you guys are mammal. 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 Put your thumbs down if you think it's not a mammal. Thumbs up. I see lots of thumbs up. Yeah, how'd you guys know it was a mammal? Mm -hmm. How did you know? Because it had fur. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It has fur. Does anyone know what animal this is? Fox. fox. Oh, good. Yeah, it's a fox. Do we have them in Nebraska? Uh, yes. Yes. Yes, we do have foxes. Fox. Yes. Yes. You're right. Who's the fox? Mm -hmm. Who's the fox? Mm -hmm. My picture. All right. What about this animal? Do you think it's a mammal or it's not a mammal? What it's is not it? a mammal. Good job. It's a fox. Right. I see a lot of thumbs down. Yeah. This is not a mammal. Does it's anyone fox. know what animal this is? This is a mammal. It's a mammal. Yeah, I heard someone say frog. You're right. Is a frog a mammal? Yes. Yeah. Are they? Yeah. No. no. You guys see no. any fur on this frog? It's a frog, mom. Yeah, this is a frog, and frogs don't have fur, do they? When you guys touch a frog, how do you think it would feel when you if you touched a frog? It what? Yeah. So frogs are not mammals. You're right. All right, what about this animal? Mommy. All right, thumbs up if you think it's a mammal or a thumbs bat. down if you don't think it's a bat. All right, I see a lot of thumbs up. You are right. Does anyone know what animal this is? Bat. Good, it's a bat, yeah. These guys are really cool because they're the only mammals in the world that fly. So they have wings and they can actually fly, kind of like a bird, but they are mammals because you guys see the hair on them. So if you touch them, they would be very soft. All right, what about this animal? Is it a mammal or not a mammal? Mammal or not a mammal? Mammal? 
Is that <laughs> feathers? Yeah. It's, oh, we yeah. only know we know only what animal has feathers. That's a bird, not not. A Good. I heard you guys say that they have feathers, right? So they look really soft. And if you got to touch a cardinal, I bet they would be really soft. But they don't have fur, do they? Or hair? They have feathers. So they're feathers. a little different. And I heard someone say bird. You are right. They are birds, not mammals. <laughs> All right. What about this one? This one's kind of hard. You think it's a mammal or not a mammal? Not a mammal. I think, I think it's thumb down. See one thumb up. Not a fish. Do you guys see any fur on this animal? No. Any fur? No. But you know what? They are a mammal. They're kind of weird mammals. They have little tiny hairs, but they are mammal. Isn't that cool? Does anyone know what animal this is? A dolphin. Nice. Yeah. So dolphins are actually mammals. Yeah. They give their babies milk when they're little. They have little tiny hairs and they don't lay eggs. They give live birth to their animals. No, no, no. All right. This is another hard one. What do you guys think? Is this a mammal or not a mammal? I see. What if I told you on his tummy he has some fur? If you guys can see really close, you might see some hairs on his back. Is it a mammal or not a mammal? They do not lay eggs. They have live fur. Yeah. Does anyone know what animal this is? Armadillo. Armadillo. Nice. You guys are good. Armadillo. Yeah, this is an armadillo. So armadillos, when they get scared, some of them can roll up in a ball when they get scared, but they are mammals. I heard someone say they don't lay eggs. Nope. They give live birth and they have little bits of hair. And if you guys look under their tummy, they also have hair on them. So that's kind of cool. Mammals look very different, don't they? myself yeah. all right what about this animal is this a mammal or not a mammal not a mammal an animal is i see lots of thumbs down good this is not a mammal does anyone know what animal this is ladybug. good you guys are so good yeah this is a ladybug so a ladybug is an insect they don't have hair and they will lay eggs. So we know that's not a mammal. I think we have just a couple more. Ooh, what about this one? Is this yes. a mammal or not a mammal? Yes, it is. Yeah, I see lots of thumbs up. You're right. Okay. How do you know it's a mammal? Because it has a fur. Yes. It has fur, good. <laughs> All right, what about this animal? This is one of my favorite animals. Is this a mammal or not a mammal? Mammal, not a mammal. I see some thumbs up. I see some thumbs down. What is this animal? So if they lay eggs, it's got to be a... No. Turtle. I heard turtle. Yeah. So these guys will lay eggs. So are they a mammal? No. No, they're not. These guys are actually reptiles. They're kind of like snakes and lizards They're in the same family. But no fur. They lay eggs and they don't give their babies milk. So they are turtles. All right, last one. Is this a mammal or not a mammal? Not mammal. Mammal. Yes, we are mammals, aren't we? I see hair. We drink milk when we're little. So we are also mammals. I think that's it. Yep, that was all of them. You guys are so smart. All right. A mute. All right, so that was all that we have for mammals today. So thank you guys for joining us. Um, these are really short programs, they're only about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes long. But next week, Amanda's going to talk to us. Amanda, what are you going to talk about?
Oh, wintertime observations. It's going to be fun. I'm so excited to share this really cool book with you. All right. So yeah, please make sure you guys join us next Tuesday, same time, 10 a.m. And Amanda's going to talk to us about winter and looking for things and finding things in winter. All right. That'll be fun. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Nice job listening, my friends. Thank you.